Hi, this is Ed with Ritchie Industries. Today we're going to do a comparison video for you. Um, some of the questions we get asked from our customers is, which unit would be better for me? One of the Omni series or maybe one of the Watermatic series? So today we're going to do a comparison of the Omni 2 and Watermatic 150. Hope you enjoy. So here we have our Watermatic 150 and our Omni 2. Both these units are similar size. They have a similar drink height and herd capacity, which is 40 cows or 40 horses. Uh, both units are great for applications where you want to split a fence. You can have one trough in each pen that way. Uh, both units offer toolless, toolless access to the valve chamber. Both offer an access panel for access to the water or electrical connections. One of the big differences is the Omni series offers a stainless steel trough. The advantages of the stainless steel trough are that it is easier to clean. The heaters can be built in right under the trough for overall heat coverage. These heaters are not immersed in the water, so they do not need to be removed in the spring you can just shut your power off. The Omni heaters, both trough heaters and the, and the cable heater, are controlled by a disk thermostat. That is reading the trough temperature. The Watermatic series utilizes our immersion heater and a self-regulating heat cable to keep the unit from freezing in cold climates. The immersion heater has an internal thermostat to control the temperature of the trough water and it will heat from the valve chamber out into the trough. So as an animal drinks, that warm water from the valve chamber is going to come out into the trough. The immersion heater will need to be removed every spring and reinstalled in the fall. The self-regulating heat cable has the ability to regulate the resistance in the cable at every part of the cable. So if one part of that cable gets cold, it's going to go ahead and change the resistance there, and then that part of that cable will get warmer Self-regulating heat cable is left in place, but is unplugged in the spring and plugged back in in the fall. So the, one of the big differences in these units is the heating system. If you want the easier cleaning surface and the heaters intended to stay in place all year long where you don't have to remove them, then the Omni is going to be your better choice. If you live in a warm climate where a heater may not be needed all the time, and maybe just on rare occasions, then maybe something like a Watermatic might be a better unit for you. Hope you enjoyed our video comparing the Omni 2 and the Watermatic 150. If you have any more questions about Ritchie products, please check us out at RitchieFount.com.